Hello. Um, just driving home from work now. And, uh, yeah, it's rush hour traffic so it's pretty much move a little bit and then stop and then move a little bit and then stop and here I'm going to turn down the that so you can hear me better um yeah it's freaking cold out but um it's so I at work the classroom that we're in doesn't have any like windows or anything so I don't know what the weather is like at like any point and it's Minnesota, so it's worrisome uh, fairly often. That dude almost just pulled right into me. That's pretty cool. Um, but it's worrisome, but especially seeing as um, I have a cobalt and that's pretty low to the ground. So all it needs to do is snow a couple feet and then I'm going to get stuck and just have an anxiety attack and uh, been there before and it's not fun so it always worries me when I don't know what the weather is or can't you know can't know what the weather is or anything so, um, if I'm able to if I'm in a position where I can like I like to oh Jesus Christ what's going on um, I like to leave early if it's necessary like you know if it's going to be leave early or get stuck in the snow later on because it's just accumulating so much or something um, I'd rather just take that little bit of a hit on pay and you know actually make it home so anyway I didn't today um, from what everyone at work in the class was saying was that it was like snow raining um, and so we're, you know, there's warnings of like, watch out for black ice and stuff on the roads. And, uh, granted, I have only gotten maybe a mile away from work, <laughs> but, uh, it hasn't been bad. This seems like exactly what it was like when I went into work today. So I don't know, maybe it worse on like the freeways or on off ramps and stuff like that we'll see but um so one thing I forgot to mention about my ring light that I am not a fan of is uh that ring light I can't stand while using it like it's not tall enough I had to extend it all the way up and I don't know if you noticed, but I was sitting on my bed, but I was also slouched down and then I had to like go further back so that you could actually see me in the frame because, you know, like I said, it's not tall enough on the pole or anything, but it also has a stand to just put your phone on and that's what my phone was on and that, you know, I had that like right underneath the ring light and that's, you know, it's as high as it can go. So gonna get some like weird angles and shadows and everything or just not gonna work like I was hoping or maybe I can like put it on a small box or something so it's taller I don't know but yeah it's a little disappointing I suppose I should have figured I didn't research it a ton before I bought it I just saw that it was on sale on Cyber Monday and I was like you know what I've been thinking about a ring light it's on sale for you know pretty cheap I should go ahead and do that and that'll like get me to start doing the vlogs more and stuff um but it is what it is I'll work with it as much as I can you know, I we'll see how long this goes as well. Because, I mean, if it gets to that point, I can always just sell it or something. So, not too big of a deal. But, um, but yeah. So, going home, I'm so tired. I don't know why, but this week has just been so exhausting. It's so exhausting. I've just been so tired every day that, like... 
I, at least the last couple of weeks when I get home from work, I eat and then I'm able to like relax for a couple hours before I eventually kind of like just pass out on top of my bed and then wake up a couple hours later and then actually get ready for bed. But like this week, I think Monday was the only night that I didn't do this, but like I've been getting home and eating and then like the second I actually go to lay down like to get comfortable and relax I'm like I pass out <laughs> like I am down for the count and there's been the last two nights I didn't wake back up until like midnight ish and then I have like a new spurt of energy which is very unfortunate seeing as I have to wake up in the morning so I, I mean I'm assuming that this is just accumulating and that's why it's getting worse throughout the week is that you know I'm getting less sleep that day which makes me a little bit more tired which makes me sleep longer that like you know nap longer after I get home from work so I'm getting up later with the second wind and then staying up later because of that because I'm not tired now I have the second wind I'm wanting another snack or you know something so I'm I'm gonna say like it's probably what it is it's just an accumulation of that but I don't know it it sucks it is what it is but um yeah I'm just I'm so tired I'm so tired I want to like I want to shower but I don't even want to actually like stand there and shower <laughs> like I'm real tempted to be like fuck showering and just curl up and go to sleep i'm i'm so fucking exhausted i'm so exhausted i was having such a hard time staying awake at work today i felt so bad because like i'm not that kind of person i'm not that kind of person that's like i'm just gonna sleep through work or whatever like i care i legitimately care um and you know she calls you out if she notices so that's not good either um but like I was trying so hard to stay awake and it was a more invent or like eventful day because we're getting to the end of training. Um, well, the end of training with her, we start training that actually matters and is what we will actually be doing sort of next week, but we have Monday with her and then that's our last day. But today was the last Friday and so she asked if everyone wanted to do a potluck, which I was like, no because I'm too freaking picky and I'm a vegetarian so um there's never like anything I can eat and so like I hate doing it I would rather just go to lunch like normal and get food that I will actually eat so that I'm not hungry the rest of the day or something because if they have a potluck they're all going to be you know just chilling in the room together and you know I want to be involved and not exclude myself like I have done since I was young <laughs> and I did that to myself so you know if they decided to do a potluck I'm like I'm not gonna go get food because I'm gonna want to stay with all of them sorry my phone's just gonna be shaky here for a bit I don't have a good way to hold it there we go um so I decided to have a potluck and she was like, well, we can either do it on our actual last day, which is Monday, or we can do it on Friday because that will be easier for you to remember so you're not sitting there on Sunday like, oh crap, I gotta go get the this or that or I gotta make this. So they, of course, were like, yeah, let's do it on Friday. So we're like running out of curriculum. Um, and so already it was kind of a pretty lax day instead of like two 15 minute breaks because how it goes is um we get in at eight we have a 15 minute break at 10 o'clock we have a half an hour lunch break at 12 15 and then we have a final 15 minute break around three o'clock and then um we go home at 4 30. Well, our 15 minute breaks both were more like 20 minute breaks and then our half hour break turned into an hour and a half break um and then there was multiple times during class where we just got off topic talking about random stuff like we were talking about how 
you know, kids will look nothing like their parents sometimes and stuff. So, like, for example, I didn't speak up on this one. I was going to, but then they, like, it's one of those things where, like, the two louder people are kind of talking and going back and forth. And, like, they start to get onto a new subject. So, like, we're talking about DNA and now we're talking about how, like, people's hair kind of changes over time. And, like, I just never got that chance because, like, I don't like interrupting people. So, I, like, never got that chance to put in my input. Um, but, like... For example, as far as, like, you know, how crazy it is that some people, like, looking like their parents are nothing like one parent and, you know, nothing like both parents or anything like that. Um, so, with me, I look just like my mom. Um, I'm actually a quarter Mexican and quarter Puerto Rican. I do not look it at all. Like, I look nothing like any of my family members on my dad's side. Um, the only things that I did not... Uh, inherit from my mom is I am taller than her she is 5'4 and I'm 5'6 so it's not like I'm super tall but I'm taller than her um and then I have more of a streamlined body like whereas her whole family is like wider in the hips and wider like they're a lot more curvy um and so that and then uh my eye color my mom's are blue blue like and hers I think are the eyes that I've seen change the most like just kind of day to day but of course it also just kind of depends on what color your clothes are that like reflects in your eyes and actually can make it look like your eyes are a different color but hers are the ones I've seen change the most because her eyes will be like gray some days it's like a slight blue gray and then some days they're just such a deep blue like I wish that's what my eyes were and when I was younger my eyes were just blue like they were just a pretty blue color but as I started to get a little older um brown started to show up in my eyes it started around the iris and then or not around the iris like <laughs> it started around the pupil and then just kind of spread out a little bit and so now my eyes are hazel and I mean they're pretty um I actually drew my eyes one day because I for a time was considering getting a tattoo um that was going to be one of my eyes crying and uh the words open your eyes written along underneath it um obviously yes that has meaning uh, um all of my tattoos have meaning i don't get a tattoo on my body without having some significance to it but um that was a tattoo i was considering getting for a while and all of my tattoos i actually drew out first except for the fairy tale tattoo that i have on my left forearm and the Orion Nebula that I have on my right forearm. I didn't draw those. The Orion Nebula, of course, I'm not going to bother drawing that. Why would I? I like I wanted him to do what the Orion Nebula looks like. So I looked up pictures and I showed him a couple of pictures cuz you know, depending depending on when the picture was taken or what camera it was with, like there's it's showing kind of different colors. So in some of the pictures of the Orion Nebula, it's more of like orange and blues and in some of the pictures more like a pink color so um I did the research for that and then he just took one of the pictures and then just kind of printed it out best he could and uh just went off of that and then the fairy tale tattoo I picked out all the colors I said I wanted to do a watercolor but I kind of left it free reign for him and then he drew that out but the rest of my tattoos like I designed them all um the tattoo artist had to change them so that they were actually tattoos because I draw in pencil uh and you can't do the same thing with a needle in the skin as you can with a pencil of course so um they did have to change them slightly but they're still my designs so there was a period where I was going to get that tattoo and I was drawing, like, doing the color of my eye. And so I took a picture of my eye and, like, was looking really close and stuff. And it's kind of fun because the brown in my eye is actually kind of a gold brown. I found out by what colors I needed to use 
but yeah I'm, there's other tattoos that I want to get and maybe I'll talk about that in the next video but I am out of time on this video so wish me luck on getting home